Hello, welcome to BS Explained. In this video, I'll be demonstrating you how to set up an email account in Niagara Workbench, how to send alarms via emails, how to convert uh, the alarm to a text message and send it through Workbenches. And we will go through how to set up Google accounts to allow access to third-party apps as uh, Jays or uh, Niagara Workbench will act as a third-party apps accessing Google accounts. So let's start with it. Let me bring the Workbench. So I have the station open. I've just created a station with name email. So first of all, what you would require to do is go into station config and open up services to add email services and services can be added from opening a palette here. You can type in whatever service you want. I have typed in email, I have it ready. So drag this email service under the service tree, click OK, go to email service. You can see uh, the property sheet from going to X property sheet here, which I like it uh, more rather than regular uh, uh, view of uh, account manager which they gave the ax view is more uh, likable for me uh, at least a uh, different uh, it is based on your own opinion you can use any of those so you want to drop an outgoing account under the email service i'm going to click ok so we'll keep the name outgoing account we want the transfer uh, type to be smtp the host name can always be found. Let's say go to a regular Google, open up a tab, say SMTP for Gmail. So you will find what is the SMTP for the Gmail if it is an IMAP server or if it is SMTP server, you're going to use smtp.gmail.com. Depending on if you're using SSL or TSL uh, ports, so the port numbers differs uh, for SSL and TSL. SSL port number is 465 and TSL is 587. So all of these information you can still grab from here as we'll be using TSL. I'm going to type in SMTP dot gmail dot com I need port for 587 need authentication to be true my account would be bs explained at gmail dot com so at first I'm going to just type in my Google password what I have just to demonstrate to you why uh, or how third-party uh, applications has been blocked from Google and what you need to do to allow access to it. So even though I have the right uh, password of my Gmail account, it won't allow me to uh, send any emails. I'll demonstrate to you in a quick, uh, in the next uh, video what we got. So we have the account set up. Just to make sure we're going to outgoing X property sheet. See, the host name is SMTP. Port number is 587. Account is uh, base explained at Gmail. I've given my Gmail password to this thing. Now I want to say use star TLS because I've used port number 587. For you guys to uh, see. If you need any help, you can go to outgoing account, right click view and guide help. It should prompt you help right here. And then you can search email on uh, right here and it should give you all the list of what your email is. Uh, my <laughs> laptop is a quite slow for making up this video. So, uh, so with that, so, We'll uh, go to setting up email, email setup, 
configure email, securing email. And here it gives you, if you want to use TSL, what and all the ports are for uh, what servers you are using. And um, uh, this is a good help, whatever you want. You can just go from here and uh, it, it, this will be a good help whenever you're trying to do things in Niagara Workbench. I like uh, guide help a lot. Uh, it, 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 that explains me quite a bit and uh, always gets you through. So we have used uh, authentication true so that it sees the account and uh, verifies my password. So let's say if I try to send an email from, I'm just copying my own email and let's, Send a test email. You can see the queues. Uh, the queue size. This is the number of files which are trying to be sent, and this gives you the number of emails which are sent, and this gives the ones which goes into errors the number of emails which will be uh, discarded and not sent, and for the discarded ones, you'll see why it was discarded. All right, so you can see uh, I don't have a poll status to this one saying uh, it ha uh, the status is down for this uh, outgoing account saying poll status, uh, uh, last poll failure cause, authentication failed exception, application specific password required. So what that means is these two aren't authenticating. So I'll show you what was what 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 went wrong with that. So even though you have your Gmail account open with the same password, it won't allow you to send uh, emails from third-party applications like Niagara Workbench or any Chase. So you need to set up for third-party application. What you need to do over here is go to BSK and manage your account. Once you're here, you need to go to security. Then you gotta go to two-step verification. You gotta uh, turn this on. Once you go inside this, it will try to ask you what, uh, it will try to log in at first because it wants to secure you with your own password again. So it, there are a number of ways where you can secure it. I've given it with my uh, phone number for my two-step verification. You gotta go back here, then go to your app passwords where you want to add your third-party application. It will try to try to ask your password again. Then it prompts you what app do you want. So mail, calendar. YouTube or whatever, you want to add a new one. Let me say just email and for on this one and generate a code. So this has generated me a code right now. I'm going to copy this code, go back to my workbench, put this code here, and then I'm going to save this, refresh. I'm going to disable this and then enable it again. Let's send a, another email. All right, now that we have put that password, you can see the number of sent emails are here. Let me go to my inbox and see, okay, I've got both of my emails which were in queue as test emails. So this is how you send an email to, uh, from a workbench to an email. If you want to send the same uh, to a text, email, uh, text message, all you got to do is get the address how to convert an email into text based on your 
uh, vendor. Let let's say if I want to do a Verizon vendor, uh, all I got to type is all I got to type is Verizon email to SMS. So you'll see uh, how do you want to write that uh, into an email. Let's say if you want to try a ten-digit number with Verizon, you're gonna do that number at the rate vtext.com. Uh, so it always sends out a text message, but it is uh, just 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 so that you guys know, the text message uh, comes with a certain bit of delay because it has to process from their internal servers for conversion of an email to text and then sent out. So there will be a delay in text messages just so that you guys know. And it comes with all other uh, vendors as well, service vendors as well. You can do AT&T emails as well, email to message. They have at the rate txt.att.net. You can use this number and this and that converts email to SMS. You can use T-Mobile as well. So you have a, a number of uh, windows which you can use. Everybody should have this option. And then you could put in whatever address you want to send it to in here. Uh, this is just uh, for your verification to send an email. I'll show you how to set up uh, alarms to emails. Uh, in the next bit of the video. So you can type in your numbers. I'm going to give random line this thing and vtext.com and they should do the job for you guys. All right, so the next bit of our uh, video is how to set up alarms for your uh, uh, emails. So once you come into alarm service, these will be the two default, default alarm class and uh, alarm DB config are the two components which you'll see here. What you want to do is open up your palette uh, and type in alarm and you want to do recipients. You want to add a console recipient which whatever alarms you set up for the station these will be coming to console recipient based on what alarm classes you have defined. Uh, this will be connected to console recipients and console recipients will send out an uh, email which you can find from email again, which you either do from there or you can open up if you have already opened it up. So you can do a email recipient here and you do route alarm to route alarm here and action route alarm it will ask you to it will send all of these details in the alarm so before you do that you want to open up your email account email recipients and say on to be as explained So this is just a test that I'm doing. So you can configure this according to what your uh, uh, site uh, requirement is. So in the email account, you have already set up outgoing account, which is nothing but uh, BS explained over there as well. So you can save this. So if I send an alarm, route alarm from here right now, you will see if I go back to email service, go back to my outgoing, you will see there is a queue of one more email which is to be sent, which I did from the alarm email recipient and it has been sent. If I go back to my Gmail right now, I have another email which says Niagara alarm, blah, 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 blah. All of these has to be set up according to your points or whatever you guys are doing. So this one, uh, comes in as or how B formatting you guys do for your alarms in the console recipient, uh, which can be done again. If I go back, I'll have to show you in the email recipients. You can B format here of what the body has to be, what the subject has to be, 
which is coming out of the workbench and going as an email recipient. So I hope you like uh, the content which I showed in here, guys. Uh, thank you for uh, coming back and watching my videos. Uh, keep liking, sharing, and